It's fans versus owners right now in football. Hit like on this post if you think fans deserve their say. What do you think? We've seen protests all over. Protests at Chelsea, Arsenal, Liverpool, Manchester City, and of course now Manchester United. Massive protests calling the game off. Are they right to protest? Of course, it's been simmering for years at Manchester United. They've never really been happy with the Glaziers. They bought the club by borrowing money 16 years ago. They took out 300 million in dividends last year. So are fans right to protest and say, Glaziers, you're really not fit to be owners? Or if you've bought that club, however you bought it, whether you borrowed the money and took the risk, or whether you've bought it with your hard earned cash, does it matter? Do you own the club and therefore you've got the right? Obviously, there's controversy. Some people will say the owners can make the decision. And today in football, particularly English football, you're seeing foreign owners, different culture. In America, they run by different rules than they do in the UK. For example, in the American football leagues, you don't have the relegation. And of course, what was recently caused so much controversy was the setting up of the European Super League. And that, of course, upset the fans because it wasn't about competition. You didn't have to compete, to qualify. There was a members who were the founding members, six members who had the right just to be in it. Took away the competition, took away the relegation, and of course, the promotion. Took away the opportunities for clubs like Leicester to get there easily and qualify and outperform and of course that's a big part of English football Are the fans right is actually a football club owned by the community so only a big part of the community but let's not also forget that fans owning football clubs hasn't worked in fact, if we look at the German League, they have uh, some rules, some controversial rules, where fans own 51%. They call it 50 plus one, and Manchester United were asking for 50 plus one, or their fans were. But that hasn't worked, and you've seen clubs like Bayern actually struggling for money. Why? Because the owner's not prepared to put money in, after all, the fans own it. Okay, you'll have your own opinion. Hit like if you think fans deserve their say. Or do you think the owners have got to make the final decision? Okay, I guess ultimately it's a balance. I certainly think in business, it's like a free-legged stall. What are you talking about, Nigel? Okay, well, what I'm saying is, first of all, the owners they have to make the final decision. They're the ones that invest in. Their money is on the line. They have to make the final decision. But you've got to keep the fans happy. You've got to make sure they're on your side. You can't run a football club without the fans. Of course, you need their backing and you need their support. You need the players and you need the staff. So you've got to look after that. And of course, you've got to look after the finances because no finances, if it's not looked after, club falls over. Three-legged stall falls over. No fans, falls over. No players wanting to stay, falls over got to make sure that everybody is on your side. You've got to do that. But that's normal in business, in my opinion. You see, if you're running a company, there's no point in running a company and everybody doesn't like you. Okay, guess what? Staff's leaving. And if your suppliers, they don't want to do business with you, guess what? You're going to struggle and ultimately you've got to run the finances, but ultimately you've got to make the final decisions. Somebody's got to make a decision. And ultimately, there should be either a board of directors or one person at the top that makes the decisions. So who's right? What do you think? If you think it's the fans, hit like, hit comment. Okay, give me a comment. What do you think should be happening, particularly in football?